Hey guys, good morning. It's me, Josh Halter, owner and founder of The BioDude here at BioDude Houston. You can visit my website, thebiodude.com. Come here to my retail store Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. And today in front of me, I am doing um, a, a new update video on my new LEDs that I am releasing uh, that are actually going to be up for sale on the website here in about, uh, I would say, about the second week of October of 2018. Uh, but for right now, I just want to give you guys a little bit of an overview of what makes these lights different than some of the other similar lights on the market um, and how I changed them uh, to have them be a little bit more reliable and a little bit more user friendly. So my lights are the Grow and Glow LEDs that you can see here. Um, the box design was all done by the Bio Dude. As you can see here, I have three different sizes. I have a 6 inch LED, a 16 inch LED, and the 22 inch LED. Now they do have your normal E26 base, which goes into every normal United States uh, socket. But I did change a lot of things about the lights specifically. And I wanna go over those with you guys today. So the very first I'm gonna go over with is, you guys remember I carry the eight inch LEDs um, from Tinkman Herp. So I, I decided to no longer use those lights because I was having high failure rates. And uh, you, you guys all know me, if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it right, and the only way to do it right is to manufacture my own. So I found a good manufacturer, pointed out the flaws of the Tinkman lights, and from there made a better, more usable light for my customers. So here's the six inch light. As you can see, they are all engraved with the Bio Dude. This has 44 LEDs in it, and it's nine watts. Uh, and it also has my website listed here. As you can see, it still has your swivel base here at the, at, um, um, at the, at the bottom. So that's so that way you can make sure you're always at an even keel. One change that I made with these, besides making them from eight inches to six inches, the reason I did that is because if they were eight inches long, they don't fit in the exoterra canopies. And that was a big issue of mine because some people would rather go a cheaper route and buy two of these, put them in an exoterra canopy over an 18 by 18 by 24 and spending a little bit extra and going with the 16 inch grow and blow. So I wanted to give you guys as many options as possible. Not only that, this was I was able to get my cost down on these a little bit better, so that way it will uh, be cheaper for you guys. As you can see, um, it does, the, the diodes are very similar um, as far as the six inch goes. However, these are all mixed spectrum. So instead of having the colors be in a row, so you can see the blues, you can see the reds, they are all now intermixed together. So you no longer get that color mixture that's visible to the eye. When we're looking at a terrarium, we want to see clean white light. We don't want to see reds and blue light. We want to see reds and blues off of our plants that the light gives us. So with this change, that's something that's really going to help out, you know, a lot of people. Um, so the six inches, they fit perfectly in the naturalistic terrarium hoods and the exoterra canopies. Uh, and I just want to give you guys, I just want to show you guys. So here's the adapter that we use. As you can see, it just screws right in. So the biggest issue I would have is people would overturn them and snap the base. I reinforce this base and the wiring. So that way you have to be real strong to snap the wiring on these. Turn it on. So here's a little bit of, a, of an update you guys can see here. Um, it's gonna be bright. So you can see how the red and blues are mixed. Uh, you can also see uh, the perfect amount of white light in there. All the LEDs do come with a one-year manufacturer's warranty, and that warranty includes if it's broken out of the box, if you have it for six months and it goes out, it's covered. You just have to make sure you have the box and you have the light to send back to me so I can send you a new one. The only thing that my manufacturer warranty doesn't cover is if you break it. And when I say if you break it, if you drop it, shatter it, uh, if you do somehow overturn the base and snap it. And I'm gonna show you guys how you overturn the base and snap it because I almost made it to the point when that can't happen anymore. So now let me show you guys the 16 inch. So the 16 inch, as you can see, here's the packaging. These are gonna be, you know, mixed all over the place um, as far as uh, uh, availability. They're gonna be on the website in a couple retail stores across the United States and eventually into Canada. So they emit 6,500 Kelvin and 1,650 lumens. Um, 98 individual diodes, uh, 120 volt, 60 hertz, 18 watts only. So we were able to get the wattage down on the 16 watts, which is gonna be great because not only is that gonna cut down the heat, um, and it's also gonna help with longevity of the bulb. 
One of the biggest issues and complaints that my customers would have about the old lights that I was carrying was how hot they get on the outside. With how these lights work, um, the, the heat is absorbed through the aluminum frame and shot out the vent on the front. So since this is a lower wattage, and since I changed the diodes on the larger one, heat is cut in half, which is great. So you can see how they're packaged here. I want you guys to get a really good look here. Um, you can see these diodes are now completely different. I made the diodes a lot smaller and farther apart, so that way they put out the same amount of light, but at the same time, it's not overpowering, it, the light is clean, and you don't see those colors. You have lower heat that's going into the bulb. You have a reinforced swivel base to prevent the wires from snapping, which I'll show you guys in a second here. Um, we have the cover to protect the diodes uh, from water and things like that, and then we have a front vent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna show you guys here. So it's gonna be a little bright. Brandon, prepare thyself. Okay, so as you can see, it's engraved right here, 96 LEDs, 18 watt. Um, and you can see how all the individual diodes are. So turn it on. Okay. So here's a really good, oh, well, oh he's getting mad. He's getting mad, dude. It's okay. Oh, okay. So you can see how, you can see that it's still really bright is very bright, but it's not near as blinding. Uh, the, the biggest kicker with me is that when you're installing it for the base, so the big, some issue that people had is that when, so when they would stall it, since it has a swivel base, the moment it tightens up, they just keep turning. And if you keep turning, keep turning, keep turn, turning, it would snap the base. So let me show you. I'm turning. So as long as you're not putting a ridiculous amount of pressure to turn the bulb, it's not gonna break. Whereas the old bulbs that I would carry, if you would just turn it by a smidge, a little bit too hard, it would snap. Um, and that was the biggest thing that I really wanted to address. And I'm so glad that I was able to address that. So here's a good look at the 16. You can see how the base turns for the swivel base. For the 16 inch, I do recommend my LED props. I'm currently out of stock on these. Um, so I'm trying to get the price down from a manufacturer, so I'm just waiting to hear back. What I like to use with the LED props is they actually raise the light so it evenly distributes the light in your terrarium. It looks a little bit nicer that way. So, let me get these back in here. And like I said, these aren't on the website just yet. They are being included in all the species-specific bioactive kits. But it's also one of those things that uh, I gotta wait for my next shipment to come in from my manufacturer to make sure that I um, will have the stock for the two months turnaround it takes to get them. So here's a good look at my Grow and Glow LED 16 inch. Next is the 22. Now this is the most popular size. Uh, the 22 is great for a lot of your larger terrariums. I use these for my 36 by 18 by 36s, 75s, 55s, you know, your larger terrariums like that. For your really, really big terrariums, you can always double down on these, and it actually works out really good. So, so you can see with these, uh, these uh, 22 inches long, they have 148 individual diodes. Uh, they're only tw they're, they're, they're 22 watts. Uh, 100, 100, uh, excuse me, 120 volts, 7,000 Kelvin, 2,200 lumens with the, with the mixed spectrum. Now, when I'm telling you guys Kelvins and lumens, I don't know what that means. Kelvin is the light output that your plants take to be able to, photo, to go through photosynthesis. Lumens is the amount of light um, that it puts out, so to speak. So that's the brightness. So as long as it's not too bright and puts out the total brightness with the proper amount of lumens to grow your mosses, to grow your desert plants, to grow your trees. All of these things are necessary for your bioactive enclosure to grow these natural plants and large trees that we are using to mimic the sun. Um, I have been using these lights for chameleons. I have not found them to be too abrasive as long as you're going a, a 10 to 12 hours on during the day, 12 hours off at night, giving them a proper photo period. I have also found that some of these lights have been going on for years uh, and they are, they are LEDs so they're very energy efficient and again we got the heat cut down on the outside significantly which we're really happy about. And the smaller six inches fit in all the hoods 
And again, guys, these are all available um, at thebiodude.com and, and some of the Dude distributors. If you have any questions, you guys can reach out to our awesome Biodude staff. And uh, thank you for watching the video, and I hope you guys enjoy the grow and glows. The Dude abides.